Alaikum. Welcome to the 45th episode of the Sira Stories. Today, we will discuss another marriage of the Prophet ﷺ with Zainab bin Khuzayma radiallahu anha that also occurred after the battle of Uhud. So let's begin. If there is anyone to look up to after the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, it is his family and his companions. One of these notable role models is Zainab bint Khuzayma radiallahu anha. She was Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam's fifth wife and was entitled as the mothers of the believers. After Khadija radiallahu anha, she was a second wife who had passed away in the Prophet's life only after eight months of marriage to him. Hence, the details on her life before Islam or even after it are not much known. Zainab bin Khuzayma radiallahu anha was born in Makkah 13 years before the year of prophethood to a noble family in the year 595 CE. She belonged to the tribe of Bani Hilal. Her mother was Hind bint Auf ibn al-Harith while Maimuna bint al-Harith was her stepsister, the last wife of the Prophet ﷺ. Zainab was among the first few converts to Islam during a time of great ignorance. She used to be very generous and lived to help the poor and the needy, so she earned the title of Ummul Masakin, the mother of the poor. Her kind-heartedness her sympathy and dedication to the cause of Islam were amazing. Upon her conversion to Islam, her generosity increased. It is said that she was first married to a man called Tufail bin Harif, who died soon afterwards. So then she married Ubaida ibn al-Harif, who participated in the Battle of Badr along with Ali ibn Abi Talib and Hamza bin Abdul Muttalib. However, Ubaida was martyred during the Battle of Badr. Zainab bin Khuzayma radiallahu anha helped the wounded during this battle and provided the injured with water. After her second husband passed away, she was left helpless and in dire assistance. Shortly after, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa married Hafsa. He heard that Zainab radiallahu an was suffering as a widow, hence he proposed to her to ease her circumstances, which she readily accepted. It is believed that the marriage took place in the month of Ramadan, and the marriage proposal by the Prophet ﷺ was a means to ensure the rest of the believers that their sacrifices in the name of Islam during the battle would not leave their families neglected and that they would be cared for. Thus, Zainab bin Khuzayma, radiallahu anha, entered the Prophet Wasallam's house as one of the mothers of the believers. She was his first wife who did not come from the tribe of Quraysh. She spent her time helping those around her and doing whatever she could for the unfortunate people. Eight months after the marriage of Zainab to the Prophet Wasallam, she became seriously ill. This illness turned out to be the cause of her death. She was the only wife of the Prophet ﷺ who died during his lifetime other than Khadija radiallahu anha. Her funeral prayers were offered by the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, who also laid her to rest with his own noble hands. He also invoked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive her and he always remembered her for her patience and perseverance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with her and her household. Amen. We should follow her generous footsteps and give back to the society and help those who cannot help themselves. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who help the poor and give charity. With this, we come to the end of today's episode. Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel, Zil Nurain. Jazakallahu khair for watching and assalamu alaikum. Uh-huh.